Well, guys, what happened with that was <laughs> that unique Q500 flew for almost 23 minutes, I believe. But I got the Phantom already set up. This will be a good time to demonstrate how the Phantom handles this type of uh, lighting situation. I'm not a photographer, so I'm not making any advanced settings on my camera. Uh, hold on, guys. Looked like my gimbal was stuck on the grass. All gimbals uh, need to do that free dance when they first power up. While the quad is warming up, let's go into the DJI app. My phone is already connected to it and uh, it prompted me to go into what they call camera view. Default screen that comes up and it gives you all the aircraft status, which is pretty cool. And as soon as we close that window, then you get your live first person view video right here. Of course I have gimbal tilt here. I have my gimbal set to point upwards up to 30 degrees. See that right there how I brought the shot of the props in there? <laughs> uh, not needed but it's an option and you can't do that on the Q500. Uh, the Phantom 3 even the basic model like the standard from this DJI app I, I can uh, almost like having a flight configuration tool at your fingertip. I can speed up the velocity or slow it down. I can uh, 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 change the uh, gimbal speed and even the gimbal smoothness <laughs> which I've demonstrated some of that before because you guys got me looking like I'm a photographer it's really nice video so forth so I'm like dude I didn't do I didn't do anything the quad did it all here I have a green light already telling me safe to fly and my battery is at 92 percent and Look like I only have seven satellites, but she's telling me it's okay to fly. The smaller picture here is the Google map of our position. If you touch on that, it, it will expand the map. And then your live person, uh, first person view picture goes to the smaller picture inside the picture. But on this map, it shows our home point. It's going to show a red arrow that uh, designates where the quad is as it moves away from the home point. But it also shows the uh, direction that the quad is traveling. <laughs> okay, let's press automatic takeoff, which is a, a command that asks for uh, a verification. It says, okay, make sure the quad is safe to take off, blah, blah, blah. Then you slide. The home point has been updated. Take off. The chick talks to you, and she tells you your home point has been updated. You can see, I still have my gimbal pointed up, not quite 30 degrees, but I'm going to bring it down. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not. There was a little, as I, as I move the gimbal up and down, there's a white dot on a scale, and it tells me when it's exactly, when it's horizontal. So that's like the zero point. It lights up and illuminates it for you. Now, unlike the uh, Q500, <laughs> and of course the X380 can do this too. When the Phantom comes up and takes off, and uh, I haven't given it any sticks yet, it, it's it's it, there's no wobbling. She's standing like a soldier. There's there's some slight drifting, but uh, it's not wobbling. You feel me? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring it up about 10 feet and park it. And already you can see the difference in the uh, video where it's getting kind of dark out here. In fact, let's get out there and shoot that last bit of sky. And she'll get out there quick. She's going straight up. And this one's already programmed to uh, stop at 400 feet or 120 meters, 121 meters. And there's an air up there pushing it around, but let's see what we got. Spectacular. Now, I believe I can tap on that picture. Okay. 
I got that mistaken mixed up with the unique on the unique Q, Q500 if I tap on the picture all the telemetry goes away and then the uh, whole screen becomes the picture and that's pretty awesome uh, if I wanted to expand this picture from the Phantom right now what I need is a, a bigger <laughs> a bigger device now what is cool about tapping this picture is uh, with the auto white balance uh, any part of this picture that you tap on the uh, camera will adjust the white balance to uh, the, the, uh, make that the main exposure this thing can shoot some awesome night pictures okay did you see that one where's okay let me point the gimbal down a little bit and what I want to get correct exposure uh, let's say this dark area right here where those trees are now the Phantom 3 camera has opened this aperture to expose the picture and as I turn and pan let's see the white wash out because there's been a lot of guys complaining about the phantom camera washes out <laughs> now that's cool Let's keep our eye on the on the sparrow. The red lights are the headlights. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. The red lights are the headlights. Let's bring it down. It's kind of getting dark to be flying like a fool. <laughs> okay, let's concentrate on uh, what would have been the sunset. The sun is gone down now, but. With all of that nice demonstration, I wasn't even recording. Anyway, this will show you uh, the difference. Uh, I was in the picture mode at first. Now I just went to uh, the video mode. So that touch the screen. Uh, right now we're back in all automatic default settings from the box and uh, it's already dark out here let's start recording do a slow pan because I know uh, when I see the swimming pool that is back in my direction and of course all of those white lights there is that uh, that car dealership right behind us so here's my little taste of flying first person view I can do this when I'm at this field because I know what to look for what I don't like about uh, attempting first person view flying with a copter like the the Phantom look at this picture it's barely moving now look at the quad <laughs> and that's about one quarter throttle it's not <laughs> imagine <laughs> just imagine a whole lot could go wrong with that and like wow look at that next thing you know you, you're crashing into those white lights the quad is humping she's headed toward the highway panning down with the gimbal which that should look cool when the now I am in all default settings uh, on the fly while flying I could go into the uh, camera menu and change you know I could change the ISO and change the uh, shutter speed to get it an even better picture I'm 
I'm a pilot, goddammit. <laughs> I'm a pilot. You want pictures like that, then hire a photographer. <laughs> this is the Phantom 3 standard, guys. Uh, this started at dusk, but we're flying in at night now, so... Not bad for LEDs. The two rear LEDs are the headlights, and the, uh, the two rear flashing green those are in the arms those are to me arm lights but they're also flight indicators not like on the x380 where you got a separate flight indicator that big bubble in the center that flashes uh you can lose sight of those two little green bleeps right there but that's not that's not major at all because <laughs> you're on board with your quad right here you, you got it right here if, if something goes wrong while we're looking up at the quad if something happens this app is gonna start talking or beeping or singing or jingling ding -ling 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 -ding. <laughs> now the x380 wasn't even part of this comparison but a quad like the x380 is just plain basic and simple it don't have all the bells and whistles and that's what you get here standard with the standard <laughs> it's got bells and whistles and, and a lady that talks to me <laughs> I, I, probably on the phantom four she's, she'll say your name you you put your name in the app and she'll say daryl your battery is weak <laughs> okay fun factor the phantom got them all beat pitch y'all you know, all, all of that. Skirt breaks. Like I said, that, uh, here we go, uh, come forward. And the let go of the sticks, and she stops and hit brakes. If she overran it a little bit, it's gonna back up. <laughs> and you almost never see that in your video. And I'm like, wow, are you kidding me? Look at that. She went, uh, skirt. <laughs> and the camera didn't move. <laughs> oh, but anyway, uh, so try to fl fly it like a toy quad. Uh, she can do all of that. And with some GPS quads, flying around like a toy quad, you're giving it too many commands at once, and then it just kind of <laughs> fry the brain. Or in other words, the the ROM, which is read-only memory, or uh, anyway, short-term commands, it, it only has so much memory for that, and you're doing and 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 flying like, and and then expect it to remember its GPS position. <laughs> uh, the Phantom's not bad. The Phantom can. I haven't over pushed it, but I've I've flown it around like an amateur. It still got amazing videos. I'm like, are you kidding me? I was, I was like, look at this. I go back and look at the Phantom's video, and I, and I can't tell the scene. Where's the scene where I was doing the, the hard braking stops? <laughs> okay, guys, this is getting dark. I'm not gonna fly this full battery. Which, by the way, that's indicated right here by this green bar right under the big green circle, uh, square in the middle. There's a green, a thin green line that turns into yellow, then it turns into red. But in, uh, if I had a bigger tablet, you, we would be able to see these numbers. But uh, this is counting down percentage of battery life. Uh, I can also program it to tell me in minutes how much battery time I have. And of course, the quad is smart enough to measure distance away from home and calculate that into the flyback time. Uh, in other words, right now, if I started flying out, <laughs> as I start flying out away from home, the battery gauge goes down faster. And then if I bring it back home fast enough, it'll give me some juice or some <laughs> fly time back. <laughs> it's almost like, uh, almost like idiot proof <laughs> so I kinda like doing phantom videos because I have so much trust in this quad 
I, I don't need to keep my eyes on all the telemetry. Uh, just keep my eyes on the quad, which gives us all a better shot. I can fly it. I do that with my X380 too, and guys are like, wow, wow, they're all impressed and stuff. But after you get to know your quad, sort of like a kid on a BMX bicycle doing tricks with it and shit. Man. <laughs> very responsive uh sometimes i'm out here in the cold if i start trembling <laughs> if i shake every little movement on my finger the quad is going to emulate that and uh that is tight what i learned recently on a lot even on the x380 and the most hobby class quads the uh sticks they can be screwed up and down making them longer and shorter shorter sticks give you more accurate movement longer sticks will you, you have to give it more you, you guys get the picture right but anyway short sticks like for sport flying and longer sticks for for aerial photography the phantom is definitely <laughs> it, it's a short stick aerial photography bird <laughs> I guess I'm insisting on flying this battery out. I'm gonna take it up into the darkness. We're gonna do like uh, the Enterprise. Of course it's dark now and that's when the wind stops blowing. So let's just get a shot of the, almost look like a desert sky. I'm gonna take her up to the limit. And this one is set for 400 feet, and we'll see what happens. She will either start talking and nagging me. Okay. I'm getting a red warning there saying weak remote control signal. So I still have my video downlink. Let's see if I can find in the telemetry our altitude. 200, or it's in meters, 284 meters. So I may lose a uh, video signal before I reach maximum altitude. Maximum flight altitude reached. Never mind. <laughs> uh, she meaning the app has just advised me that my maximum altitude has been reached so we're at uh maximum flight altitude reached i heard maximum you maximum flight altitude reached maximum flight altitude reached okay i guess you mean you want me to come down you see what i mean guys about nagging me <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good thing i guess but I heard her the first time, but she didn't say, I'm going to say it again unless you come down. That's what I was uh, trying to achieve, baby. Uh, maxim maximum altitude. And I wanted to sit there and park it. But since she's bugging me, and uh, we're going to go into low battery warning here soon. Low battery warning. <laughs> This chick just trying to get on all the videos, huh? Okay, now I'm doing a light flying orientation thing because everything's flashing red, looks like it. Good thing I got skills. See how all the lights went to red now? How in the hell was I supposed to know the front of the quad from the back of the quad? I knew it by the movement of the lights against the sky. Most of my toy quads, I flew out of my front yard at night. <laughs> wow. I applaud myself. I do have skills, but I don't have my glasses on. Everything went red. I hear, you, I hear you, baby. So, anyway, guys, that was a a full battery run. We got dark out here, and so we'll be going back looking at some of that video as well.
Hopefully the hat cam video came out and we saw how much fun it is to fly a Phantom 3 standard as well. Okay, everything's on alert now because uh, I turned the quad off, I turned my cell phone off, I turned the transmitter off. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you know that guy's crazy. Now he's flying in the damn dark. It's starting to get cold out here too. I can't wait for summer. This is DJ Soul Force. I'm going to holler back at you later.